deeper and each week it seems like you're you're moving forward and and expressing it and acknowledging it because those are two really important steps in in this healing process so um, I want to commend you guys on that because there's a lot of things that people can talk about that seem easier than anger but anger seems like one of those that people just don't really want to acknowledge or talk about so um, you guys are doing a really good job of that um, so we've done, we've done all the activities that I really wanted to do today, and, and I really like that coping skills was brought up today. Um, Natalie, thank you for bringing that up. And next week, we really are going to dig into what you guys do as, as coping skills currently that you may not realize are coping skill, and then what you can do, something that you enjoy doing, and it will be a healthy coping skill for you. Because whether it's anger, sadness, anxiety... Um, any of those feelings that we just don't want to feel, um, coping skills really can help. But before you can cope, you, you do need to have the, you know, the talking about it process and, and really figuring out what that, what that anger is coming from. Um, so to close, because you guys have just been so good and talkative today, um, I want to check your, um, comfort levels again. And so we're going to go around the room again. Remember, 10, most uncomfortable you've ever felt. One, most comfortable you've ever felt. You might as well be in your PJs in bed. So, Amy, would you like to start? Um, is it bad for it to go backwards? Like, no. It, it, no. <laughs> bringing up things sometimes can make you more uncomfortable. So, yeah, 10 being the highest, most uncomfortable you've ever been. Um, uh, like a 6. A six. Cause it's just because it seems like, I guess, embarrassing to cry because you're so mad, but okay. yeah. So that's probably just why it's backwards. No, yes. and that's that's fine. Um, it's it's okay. You brought up a lot of um, really hard things today. So feeling more uncomfortable, that, that's a natural feeling. Also crying because of anger or sadness, that's also a very normal feeling. So I don't want you to feel ostracized because you you teared up that's that's totally normal and if anyone breaks down that's normal <laughs> so um, this is the the time and place to do it and um, honestly tearing up means that you felt a little comfortable and that you could in front of us so thank you for being honest about your your um, scale rating though Amanda um actually I felt pretty comfortable coming in today, and I still feel pretty comfortable. So I would say probably about a four. Okay. Just about, yeah. I feel okay. like that's better than I've been in the past, and yeah. I'm kind of still just hanging right there. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's that's a good place to hang. So thank you for sharing. It's better than the 10. It's better than the 10. <laughs> I don't want any of you guys at 10, four sessions in, but if that happens, that's, that's okay. Just let us know. <laughs> Natalie? Uh, down to a five. A five? Okay. Good. That's, that means that we're, we're doing our job. So good job, guys. Kristen? Yeah, I'd say I came down to a four. Okay. Nice. Well, hopefully as we continue, you know, you do feel more comfortable in opening up and in, um, in sharing and crying in whatever way, you know, you feel most comfortable. Um, please, this is the place to do it. Now, before we finish, I would like to ask you guys um, for some feedback. This is feedback for me as your facilitator. This is feedback for each other. This is feedback for our session. If we covered things that you wanted us to cover, if we covered something you hated and you never want to talk about it again, um, this is your time as members to, to kind of um, take control and say what you did or didn't like. So. Um, if anyone would like to share, we have a couple more minutes. <clears throat> I liked being able to talk to my partner about um, my, my thoughts and maybe some positive things. I thought that was nice just to have a little bit more relaxed where it's not in front of everybody. Just, yeah. yeah. So I think that was really good. Mm -hmm. I liked that. Good. Does anyone else really like the partner mm -hmm. aspect? Because mm -hmm. that can be, mm -hmm. yeah, it's less scary. You're not talking in front of all four of us. <laughs> And hopefully it prepares you, you know, talking it out with someone um, can help before you talk to all of us about it. Because we still shared the same thing, mm -hmm. but 
-hmm. to be able to process it one-on-one -on -one before so I, I kind of like that you had us kind of write something down because sometimes otherwise I, I can be thinking about something and then when I start to talk I kind of forget about what I was on so that helped me stay a little more focused Good. that way I didn't jump tracks when Amy yeah. and I were trying to it does help you stay focused, but also it helps you not to forget exactly what you're thinking of when someone else shares, mm -hmm. you know, because I want you all to talk about how you felt when I said that mm -hmm. and not, oh, this made me think of blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to know your original thought and then build on that. So good. I'm glad that was helpful to you. Anything else? You don't have to share if you, if you don't want to. I have something. Um, doing the breathing exercise helped me to calm down and prepare for group. If we could you know, do that maybe at the beginning of every group, that would, that would help me. Yeah, did anyone else um, find that beneficial? Mm -hmm. And if you didn't, was it just too weird for you? Or you just, it just wasn't that helpful? If it was weird, just let me know. <laughs> but I, I do like doing the breathing exercise, especially for a group. I'm um, discussing anger because I think that's something you guys can utilize when you're outside of here and you do feel angry. Um, Vanda, for instance, when you're talking about your grandkids, that's that's a time that you can do that on your own and no one notices. So yeah. All right, Amy, did you have anything? It's okay if you don't. I like this one. They're writing it down because okay. I feel like since I don't like to talk about it as much, like just to ignore it. Mm -hmm. Um, it's different writing it down because that's a way I can let it out without like attacking people. So okay. that's good, but it also it's like I feel like that just hit me the hardest, yeah. like seeing it. So yeah, seeing it yeah. instead of just thinking it. Well, I'm glad that was yeah. helpful for you, and I'm glad it helps you not um, get the claws out like you just showed with your hands. So. I mean, we'll continue so doing. That if you we'll continue to. doing <laughs> activities like that. Um, but I'm glad the writing was beneficial to you guys. Mm -hmm. So I will see you all next Thursday night at six o'clock. And thank you all for coming, and I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Thank you.